welcome back to this channel or welcome to this channel. My name is Jackie and I'm obsessed with planners, journals and Hobonichi. If it is not your first time in this channel, you already know that this pink box means that I have a Hobonichi Techo 2022 haul to share with you and that's exactly what this video is all about. <gasps> I have quite a few items in here, some are from the September release, some are from the spring release, so the newest release, and I just want to go through every single thing with you. It just arrived, I cannot wait to open, and you will be seeing my first impression and haul as well. And also, as I like to remind you before a haul video, you don't need to buy anything at all to be part of the community. This is just for me to share with you the excitement and I just love sharing it with you, the love for stationery. But please don't feel like you have to buy stuff or go above and beyond your means or your budget to get a cover just to fit in. You don't need this. The community is amazing and you are welcomed anyhow, even if you don't even have a planner. Okay, let's start with the freebies. I got two again of the Hobonichi pens because I got two books that you will see soon and also two of the not so scary bear little spoons that I just love and I will save these and I love that it is a different design from what I got before. I also got as a freebie one of these gift tags because I got the gift bag that I will show you now and I think it's such a fun addition and it's so pretty I'm going to add to my setup. This is the gift bag. I think it's so cute and I'm actually using to carry things around. I already have the larger one, but I decided to grab the smaller version this time and it's super pretty and super functional and I just love it so much. I have some cover on covers. I have two for the weeks and one for the Hobonichi cousin. Uh, I have just one of each of just the plain clear ones. And I decided to grab this design for the weeks as well because I, I'm always considering getting it and then I forget to add to my cart. But this time I remembered it's just really pretty. I'm not sure if I'm going to use it right away. So I will just leave it in the plastic and save it for later. I also got one of the their tabs because I really love how the tabs match the colors of the original book and the Hobonichi Cousin, so I will probably use this for my work planner. Another thing that I won't be opening are my Animal Crossing pencil boards. I already have an A5 and an A6 size, but I just love this game so much and I love their pencil boards. And to be completely honest, usually I destroy my pencil boards because I'm painting and I have ink all over them. So I decided to just grab an extra pair. This was not necessary at all, <laughs> but I just love it so much. It is my first time actually kind of hoarding pencil boards from Hobonichi, but I just could not resist. I also got another one of their bookmarks and this is for the cousin size but it also works on my Nuna bullet journal and this is just an elastic band to wrap around my techo when it becomes super super fat and lovely. Okay now for the books and notebooks. I got one Hobonichi techo planner, the English version because I gifted mine to a friend and I just thought I might need it so I decided to just add to my order and I will probably use this just as a journal like a very personal journal that you probably won't see it here. I also got one of their regular notebooks. I just love this so much. I use it to take notes from books and thesis notes and work notes so it's nothing also interesting that you will see on social media but it's just something I love using and mine is already almost done so I needed to grab another one and this is my first time getting a Hobonichi Cousin Spring Edition so I'm really excited about this one in particular. I was highly influenced by the vegan organizer so I will leave a couple of uh, her videos down below if you want to check her channel. She's just amazing and super inspirational and um, the reason I got this is because I want to use it for my thesis and only thesis. I already use a Hobonichi cousin for work, but uh, the 
spring version dates kind of coincide with the period that I have to finish and be done with my PhD. So I thought it was a really nice excuse for me to get the spring version. So let me open it up so I can share it with you very briefly. So outside is basically the same as your full book, regular Hobonichi Cousin, but it says spring in here. And oh, it smells so good. And the only difference will be the starting dates of each spread. So uh, the index view will start on April and it will go up until March 2023. And then the monthly view will start on February, which is nice, which means I can already use it. I thought it started in March, so I'm already happy about that. And it will go up until May 2023. So I will be able to do a lot of future planning here, which I just love. And I'm supposed to be done with my thesis by March. So hopefully everything will go well. And I will kind of have a record of like the last sprint of my PhD. Then the weekly view will start on the first week of April and it will go up until the very last week of March and the kind of first week of April. Then everything is pretty much the same, but the daily pages will start only on April. So I will still have to wait a little bit to actually fully move in, but I will do a setup and I will try to film it to share with you how I'm doing a setup to kind of help me get through the last phases of my PhD. Okay, we are getting into the more exciting part, at least for me. So this time I decided to grab these two drawer pouches that I've been just um, eyeing for a while, but whenever I finally have the courage to buy them, they are sold out. But this time I grabbed one of each of the ones I wanted. So let me take the plastic off so you can see it better. So these, of course, I had to grab it because I love cats. And this one I got because I have the Ukrainian flowers a6 cover from a couple of years ago and it is actually one of my favorite covers from my collection and I just thought okay I need to have uh, like the pencil case matching because I will use these as pencil cases and I just think it's perfect and it makes me so happy to have everything matching so let me show you the inside very briefly so this one is ooh, a very fun shade of pink I love it actually. I love the contrast between like the dark blue or navy and then this fun pink inside. I just love it so much. It will probably host all my kawaii stuff that I use in my kawaii journal. And this one will probably be my main pencil case, at least for now. So let me open it up. And this is how the inside look. Very neutral, very different from this one. They are beautiful. I'm super happy I got them and cannot wait to set them up and start using every single thing. Now for the covers, I have just the one cover for the Hobonichi A6 and then two covers for the Hobonichi Cousin. And let me share them with you. This is the Hokusai cover and oh my God, it's so pretty. I love it even more in person than on the website. It's a little bit more muted than on the website and it's just gorgeous. I just love uh, the illustration so much. This art is just amazing and it's so pretty and the inside is just is this beautiful shade of blue and you have the detail here of the illustration here on the pocket as well. And I got two cousin covers. The first one is just the plain um, black um, nylon cover because I don't have any of this simple cover for my Hobonichi cousin and I thought oh my god I need to add one <laughs> so of course I went with the black and it will probably be used just to storage my Hobonichi cousin when I'm done with it so it's just the regular basic Hobonichi um, colorful but in this case black cover with light blue in the inside beautiful and now for a more exciting uh, cover because I've been also wanting this since the release but I had to save a little bit of money before I was able to get it and now it's finally time so let's open this box oh it's so pretty this is how it comes it's my first time opening it oh it's so beautiful 
So this, oh, this is the Jardin cover. I'm not sure if I'm pronouncing it right, so I apologize for that. Please feel free to correct me. I love learning how to pronounce things better. And oh, the texture, I just love it so much. I love these uh, Mina Perron and covers because texture is everything to me, especially this is to be used with my work planner. And sometimes I just need to like touch <laughs> the cover and feel it. And oh my God, this feels so cozy. I think it will be like the perfect fall cover and winter cover. So I need to move in right away before spring and summer. And what I also love about these covers is that uh, not every single cover is the same because you will get different parts of the design on the front cover and on the back cover. And I actually love uh, the combination that I got because I have a big flower here at the bottom, uh, but it's very discreet and very neutral. I don't know, professional looking. I just love it so much and the back is also beautiful and the inside is this very dark I think it's brown color but it feels a little bit green I think because of the bookmarks I just love these uh, ribbon bookmarks by Mina Perhonen as well so it's just perfect I love everything about this cover I'm so glad I got it I finally got it so that's it. That's everything I got from the spring release. I hope you enjoyed this video. Uh, again, I'm sorry if I was all over the place, but I really love sharing with you my first real impressions of uh, the things that I got because we love stationery, right? And that needs to be shared with the world. Thank you so much for watching and I will see you soon. Bye bye.